is part eight of our conversation with Mike Levine of Triumph. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Canada. So you met Gil first, and then you, you got Rick, as I, I understand. But uh, what was your, how did you meet Gil, and what was your impression? First impressions are always important to me. I met Gil back in the Yorkville days, early on. Um, he was playing in a band. I was playing in a band. Um, you know, we hooked up somewhere. You know, I can't remember exactly where it actually happened. It could have been at the Gold Inn <laughs> or something like that. He was in a band called Sherman and Peabody. And uh, I think I was in the Dana. But um, anyway, that's a place where everybody hung out. There was an R&B. We're all R&B fanatics. So it was a place to go. And uh, I, I, we just hooked up. And then, you know, we we're kind of friends, whatever. But then he became uh, 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 the rock musician or the musician, the young musician uh, entry into the executive board of the Toronto Musicians Union. And my dad was the first vice president. So they hit it off. So their dad, dad would always talk to me about Gil and Gil would, you know, so we find each other. He says, oh, I love your father. He's taught me so much, blah, 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 blah. So uh, that's really where we first met. And then, and then he conned me into, you know, being a part-time guy in his part-time band. And, <laughs> and the rest is kind of history. <laughs> You guys went to see Rick. You heard about Rick, and you went to see Rick play. Uh, I was just watching that interview this morning you had done a few years ago, and uh, y- you know, they're, they're, his band's doing like Gentle Giant and prog stuff. And but Gil at first didn't think he could do uh, Zeppelin. Like, yeah, no, it's, it's like I, I, you know, we're looking at each other, and I'm going, "This guy's amazing." You know, <laughs> he can sing, he can dance, you know, whatever. He can do the splits, <laughs> and he, he can play. <laughs> And, and Gil looks at me, he goes, yeah, but it, can he go da 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 Or can he play a whole lot of love? I go, if he can play that, he can play a whole lot of love. Trust me, Gil. Uh, oh, by the way, Zeppelin, Zeppelin 4, speaking of, uh, yeah. well, that was Zeppelin 2, but uh, Zeppelin 4 uh, is celebrating 50 years. You know, it's interesting, the, the albums that are, there's so many albums from 71, like, Janis Joplin, Carol King, Yes, Yes Have Two, The Stones Have One, Paul McCartney, Ram, uh, Zepp- uh, Zeppelin Four. I mean, it's amazing. I asked uh, Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull, I said, uh, what was it about? Because, you know, Aqualon's turning 50. I said, well, yeah. what was it of 1971? He said, well, that whole, all those years were pretty big. But the Zeppelin Four, uh, do you have a soundbite for me is what I'm saying concerning Zeppelin Four. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what I could I could talk to you to uh, what I could speak to. Um, trying to remember now was Black Dog on on that on Zeppelin Four. It was right. Yeah, That's what I thought. So, Black Dog, uh, Rock and Roll, Stairway to Heaven. Right. Yeah. So so when we were playing bars, uh, we'd do four sets, and one would be a Led Zeppelin set where we'd stop start and not stop until for a half hour it was over. Nothing, segue from song to song to song. No no chance for anybody to throw tomatoes at you if they hated you, whatever. It's like it just went from the boom, start to the end, you know? Black Dog, we had so much trouble with that song. There's one place where it turns around and it's really hard to count. And it doesn't matter how you do it. When it turns around, you go, What's, what are they doing? How can you count that? How did they figure that out? But you just have to memorize it and, and play it because you couldn't count it. 